This is going to be the worst video ever. <laughs> yeah, well, we are at um, the Amana Colonies, mm -hmm. which is like a little German Bavarian town. town. Yeah. And uh, they're having a fest, yeah. a worst fest, yeah. a bratwurst fest. Yeah. And uh, so they're going to be like all kinds of little Lots sausages. Of <laughs> Lots of wieners. <laughs> Lots of sausages to taste. We're going to be double fisting wieners out here. <laughs> And um, they have games, like yard games, and they're gonna have like competitions. And at the end of the day, they're gonna have a wiener dog race. Yes. <laughs> so we'll see the little legs tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick run through the little town. It's <laughs> gonna be awesome. We didn't eat hardly anything today. No. Nope. And on purpose. Uh huh. Because we want to maximize our sausage intake today <laughs> and they're gonna have big beers like yep. they would have it like an Oktoberfest yeah they're gonna have live music here all day yep it's gonna be a fun day the town itself is gorgeous it's so cute lots of shopping lots of wineries and breweries and bakeries and ah oh, it's gonna be so good so Leslie is focusing on the chocolate the chocolate house yes the bakeries yes the ice cream and shop. the shopping <laughs> and the shopping I will be focusing on the food and the beer yeah okay <laughs> and then we covered it all then yeah <laughs> coming into the worst fest now this is out here where they have the yard games and this is where the this is where the wiener race wiener dog race is going to be later the Dotson Derby can't wait for that. They're getting ready to do a competition up here. They got a live band up here and they're getting ready to do a competition. And I don't know what the name of the competition is. It's like this big long word, but basically the gist of it is these guys try to hold a beer, a full beer stein out as long as they can. Last man standing wins. I don't know what they win, but I think everybody at least gets to keep their beer and drink it. And even the losers get a t-shirt. So there are participation trophies. So worst case scenario, you get a beer and a t-shirt. Our friend Nick is going to enter the competition and I will be commentating and watching him and rooting him on as he tries to hold this beer longer than, than all the rest of the guys. All right, we have our contestants up here. We have our beer lined up. There's our friend Nick in the green shirt right there. That's who we're cheering on. Hopefully he can hold it longer than the rest of these guys. Oh, there's some there's some bushly guys up there. There's some there's some rugged dudes. I think they're going to be able to hold it for for pretty long. Hey, what are you predicting? How long do you think somebody can hold this thing for? I'm gonna go five minutes. Five minutes. I'm gonna go four minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Two, three, go! Oh, and they are off to the races. Oh, they're shaking. Nobody wants to be the first one out. They're, they're really struggling. I think when one goes, a lot more are going to go, but nobody wants to be the first one out. Danger, danger. Danger. This is Leslie's kryptonite. Yes. We are not getting out of here without getting some chocolate. We just got done at the chocolate shop. Got some ice cream, which was really good. And I had some chocolate covered bacon. I ate it so fast that I didn't even get to record it, but it was really good. But now we're in the general store, and I'm hoping that Leslie can contain herself and we don't spend nine million dollars in here. I can't make any promises. Everything's like cute and like nostalgic. Yeah. And very local. Yeah. Soaps, lotions, potions. Yeah. Oh canned God. foods, candies, yeah. popcorns. So good. It's a general store, so it generally has a little bit of everything. Yeah. This place is crazy, man. Oh, this crap. I find Leslie, too. I don't know where she went, too. Lost her. There she is. Did you find anything? This is all cooking stuff, but I like it. A little tiny cooking stuff. Yeah. For tiny cooking. In case you want to do a little cooking. Look. Oh. Come on. It takes, up, takes up no space in the RV. In case you want to do a little little shredding. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Spoons if you want to do a little mixing. A little whisks if you want to do a little whisking. I could do this all day. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs>
a little spatula. In case you want to do a little spatula. Yeah, look at these little <laughs> condiment spoons. Oh yeah. yeah, I look fancy. Yeah, I like like these. soup spoon, like a little soup spoon. It's like when you have like ketchup mustard. Oh, no, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Stop it. I don't know why Leslie's looking at all the cooking stuff. I think she just likes it because it's small and cute. <laughs> Not that she's actually interested in cooking at all. <laughs> what are you gonna baste? When's the last time you basted something? If you could tell me the last time you basted something, I'll buy you two basters. I, 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 I think I basted a turkey once for my mom. <laughs> In 1998. Oh, it smells good down here. It's because there's coffee. That's a lot of coffees, man. Yeah. Look at all those. Get free samples of coffee here, too. This is maple bacon. We were just talking about the little utensils. Maybe I could use a little spoon to stir my little coffee. Yeah, so good. <laughs> you should go get it. You can definitely taste the maple and the bacon yeah? in here. Yeah, it's really good. This, I don't think... You would need creamer with this? I would not need no. creamer with this. Leslie's gonna try the maple bacon coffee with no creamer. No creamer. <laughs> Do it. Do it. I mean, I can get them flavored ones, I guess it would be the same. It is, it's just, it's the same texture, it's just, she can gag on those too. Oh, 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 no creamer, that's torture. You don't like that? Oh, no. So I have, I have, I have 100% come to the conclusion that you don't like coffee. <laughs> I love my coffee. You like creamer. <laughs> I never knew. Because this is good coffee. Our daughter would really love this. She probably would. She appreciates. She does appreciate coffee. She's like a connoisseur. She is. She even kicks her little pinky up when she, she drinks does. her coffee. <laughs> she does. <laughs> You want another hit? No. Come on. God, no. It's good. No. There's creamer right here. Yeah. You could put like five packets in this little <laughs> thing and you'd be all set. I would be all set. Well, this community is really cool. It's an old colony from like way back in the, I don't even know. I'm not going to say the dates because I'll get it all wrong. 1855. 1855. And we're heading into the fudge factory right now. I'm going to keep talking with some of these bigger buildings around here are like, used to be like communal kitchens. So they would have the farmers that would go out in the fields and stuff and do all the crops but they would have a a set group of people who worked in the kitchens and each kitchen would feed like 10 families average of four per family so 40 people and they would eat five times a day so they had breakfast they had a break then they had lunch then they had another break and then they had dinner but it wasn't like you think like sit down for a long period of time you kind of go you sit down you eat your food and then you're gone but it's very interesting and some of these communal kitchens are actually still open and available to walk through i don't know if we'll get to go through any today but i just thought it was an interesting piece of history that's a big bullet yeah what is it that's a 12 gauge i mean what is it what is <laughs> it thermos. oh it's a thermos that's where you put your booze in yeah yeah put the bourbon in there that's right we just sit that'll down. keep you at least for what an evening oh yeah Maybe a couple hours. <laughs> it was nice. You're saying I can have it? Is that what you're saying? Well, is that what I'm hearing? What's the price tag say on it? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Does it come with that cool ring? <laughs> the anti <-tide> <laughs> ring. You should keep that. Yeah. That's a free accessory. So. There you go. Just for you, baby. No, God. Just for you. <laughs> <laughs> we just almost left the GoPro. And when we say we, we mean you. You were the last one in charge of it. Yes, we means me. I can't be trusted with things. No. We can't have nice stuff. No. Because I'll lose it. Yes. Or break it. Yes. I need constant supervision. Yes. Well, here's one of the race contestants. Hopefully a celebrity after the race is over. <laughs> this is Kylo. Hello. Hi, Kylo. Hello. <laughs> Oh, hi, hi. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting to pet the winner. I don't even know yet. Or should I say the wiener? Uh oh. <laughs> First time racing. 
Wilson. Looking at the flyer for the 1974 Oktoberfest. And if you look really closely here, look at this. Campers welcome, $2. $2 a night for yeah, camping. Yeah. My kind of price. Quite a few people from Amana that served in the military. World War One and World War Two. Hey, did you know that this is where the Amana um, appliances come from? I didn't know that. You just learned that. I was in the room all about appliances. <laughs> I didn't know that until I came in here. Uh, the, the, because it's a communal thing. Yeah. They don't even get to choose like what they're going to do. They just picked a guy and said, look, check it out. We need a doctor, bro. So you're going to go to the university? Yeah, so you're going to go to the University of Iowa. And be a doctor. And you're going to go learn how to be a doctor. And then you're going to come back. Yeah. And you'll be our doctor. Well, I'm sure they sent their smartest, most teachable person. So what you're saying is they would not have sent me. Exactly. <laughs> they would not have sent you. <laughs> I'd be off in the fields or like empty in the shitter with the big pole yeah. and bucket. Yeah. That'd be my job. <laughs> um, look, buddy, it's a communal thing. We're going to need you to go grab the stick. Well, Leslie's looking at the yearbooks. What year is this? 1960. 1960. Let's pick out a random student to highlight. Alan. Alan Neubauer. Okay. He played baseball, basketball, he was in chorus, band, student council vice president, band president. He was on the Bugle Board, which I think is the name of their yearbook, was the Bugle. Student Librarian and National Honor Society. Alan rocked it. Thank you, Alan, for being such a stand-up guy. For your participation, you have won absolutely nothing. Yeah. It's almost time for the wiener dog race, and the crowd is building in anticipation. It's just after 5.30. Just got done with the wiener dog races. We're hustling back to the truck because yeah. closing time is six o'clock for the bakery. And we gotta get that strudel. The chocolate almond strudel. Yeah, that's the priority. The strudel. That is the priority right now. And then we'll see if we can get to the meat shop. <laughs> exactly. All right, crisis averted. We made it in time. This is what we're after right here. Yeah, it's chocolate almond strudels. Mm. Operation Strudel is complete. That's right. And now, the meats. Bring on the meats. Oh, what a day, huh? It was a long day, but it was a fun day. We missed the meats. Did, the meat shop closed before we got there. The priorities, man, we got to the bakery. We got to the bakery, that's all that really yeah. matters. And now we're at Denny's. Yes. Because we're tired. And I'm and not cooking anything. About an hour drive, so. Yeah. No, but we did have beer. We had a drink. Yes. Yeah. I even a, had a drink. Nice little beer garden there. Yeah. It was just a cool vibe. The whole town was really cool. It was good that we were at there. Yeah. Uh, perfect timing for the worst fest. Yeah. It was like the best worst fest ever. It was the best <laughs> worst fest. And who knew we'd run into so many people yeah. that we know why we're here. Ran into some wagsters out here. Yeah. Ran into uh, another channel out here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I had a good time. It's been an awesome day. The wiener dog raises were awesome. Yeah. <laughs> they are so cute. Alright, I'm hungry. Yes, let's get and up. I'm tired. Alright, right. stick around for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Help us remember and honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description. Yep. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.